Welcome to Tech Assembler and in this tutorial we would be discussing about Ion Infinite Scroll. So let's see how this Ion Infinite Scroll works and how to customize it according to our project. So this is uh, Infinite Scroll application. So you can see uh, what actually Infinite Scroll means. So whenever you just uh, render a list, for example, your list contain 100 items. So you don't want your 100 items to be rendered at a at one time. So you want, for example, 2020 slots of items should be rendered whenever the user scrolls the list. So you can see over here. So whenever I scroll, so currently I have uh, almost 10 items and then another 10 and then another 10. So this is how infinite scroll works. Whenever the list is finished, so it will not scroll anymore. So this and let's see how it works okay so starting with our blank application so this is my infinite scroll page and i just show you this is how i created infinite scroll page inside a page folder so this is the command and you just do the ionic self and i just deleted the home page and in in place i use infinite scroll to automatically redirect it to that page okay so this is it. I just move to infinite scroll page. Okay. So on this page, I have a list and in that list, I have a items and on that item, I'm performing ng for loop to iterate the list of items. So I have this dummy data. So you can see this is the array of object. As I told before, if you don't know what is, so please watch my previous videos. So this is just a color and a value so this is all we have a different value and a different color and just a, a dummy object okay so let's see how it looks mm, and it doesn't render anything okay so why it didn't render anything because we haven't used it inside the constructor okay so this dot data not inside the constructor actually I think I mistook the spelling yeah it's data list and this is the data so this is it so this is the page okay so if I do a scrolling so it's a normal page and whole list has been rendered and only on one time okay so this is it and we have to implement uh, infinite scroll on that so just go to the ionic website over the infinite scroll section and here you can find so this is the template for the infinite scroll so how it works let's see so i just replace my code with this and this is the threshold value so what does this threshold value means? So it means whenever you scroll a hundred pixel from the bottom. So at that time, an infinite scroll function is initiated or it is called. So this is the infinite scroll function associated with an infinite scroll. By default, this function is being provided by the ionic team. So let's see how it works. I just copy all the dummy things from here this is the load data function and let's go over here and i just replace it okay so this is the data part okay i just comment it out for a second and see it works or not okay so event hasn't been fired okay it is fired at the end okay so why it is fired at the end because we haven't implemented any logic over here and it is called uh, whenever it is completed so to do the logic over here I just use one more variable because I have already code so I use this okay so this is my variable and we have taken two variables. 
one is top limit and another is data list okay so in this data list i will be rendering the selected element for example we have 100 element and i just want to show 10 element on one time so at one moment i will push 10 element in this data list and whenever i scroll i just push another 10 uh, in this data element so by this time so it will have 40 elements on another scroll so this is how it works okay so i just uh, by default uh, the list will contain um, uh, say 15 elements so to give it a 15 element i use uh, sorry this is the data which we have original data and in this i use a javascript function that is slice and slice uh, uses two parameters that is one start and the end okay and it will slice the element so for example i just use zero comma top limit okay so from zero to the 15th element it will give it to the data list okay and i use this data list in place of data so let's see how it looks so now we have only uh, you can say the 10 elements because i have numbered uh, in in gap of two so here we have 10 to 15 elements okay or i can just console the element over here console.log data list okay so okay there is yeah this is and this event is called only once and this is we have a red one 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 blah 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 okay and by default we have this number of elements means at we have last is 17 okay so we have to render this much so let's see and I just comment it out. Okay. And here we have to put the logic. Okay. So what is the difference between event.target.complete or event.target.disabled equals to true? So target.complete means we have complete we have rendered 20 elements after the scroll and we want another 20 elements. So after 20 element is being fetched, so that is completed and disabled means we have rendered all the hundred elements okay so this is the difference between completed and disabled so in place of this i just push this thing okay so this dot and here i use one more thing this dot top limit plus equals to 10 element i am fetching 10 10 element on a scroll so whenever i scroll i will get 10 10 element okay now let's see how it works okay yeah i'm getting the 10 10 element so this is how it's simple but after scoring also and this is how yeah and it is also fetching something okay i don't want to show this every time my data has been finished so for that i use a simple condition if condition if data list dot length so this is in which we have uh, just uh, given uh, I've, uh, we have shifted our original data to this data list and now we are comparing this original list with the data list dot length whenever these lengths are equal okay these length are equal so I just want event to be disabled and I just remove this thing. So this is it. This is our logic. Okay. And let's see if it works or not. So it is loading again, loading and again, loading. And this is it. We have finished because our last element is 17th element. So this is the simple way by which you can achieve the infinite scroll. Okay, once the list is been loaded, so it will not fire again and again. And you can do one more thing. 
that in HTML, you can use the different thing like bubble or something, some another spinner. Uh, I don't know what are the names of that. Okay, so you can find it over here. So we have used the complete method and the event is an infinite event also. And this is the threshold, which I just told you from the bottom, it will 10% uh, or you can give it in a pixel. So whenever you scroll a 10 pixel or a 10%, so it will automatically fire. Okay, so please do not increase it. For example, if you increase it to 500 pixel, so sometime it will give you a problem. Okay, so it will not work in infinite scroll at that time. Okay, and this is the position of uh, the infinite scroll you want to uh, place by default. It is at the bottom or you can just place it on the top also. And this is the disabled uh, what we have just used. And that's it about the infinite scroll. One more thing that you can use over here, you can uh, just uh, remove. You don't want to place this text and this is the spinner. You want to use your custom spinner. So you can just give it over here. You can just give an image also of your own. So how you can give that, I quickly show you. Okay, so I have image. Mm, okay, I have ionic image and I just place the class mm, center. Okay. This is the class which I just used over here. This is the center you can see over here. And let's use this property of image. Uh, sorry. And just place this over. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's see. It works or not. And it works. Okay. And why it is not disabled? So the loader is been showing. So I just use this. As I deleted, I don't know what spelling is. So I just place the none over here. Let's see. So this is our image. So you can use any SVG or your any animation over here. Once the list is completed, it will not render again. So if you want uh, the link of uh, this Ion Infinite Scroll, so you please visit my GitHub repository. Please find the link below. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates.